had ever since that the government is their protector. And, they, and it's going to put a chicken in every pot. And, and, and keep them safe, you see. And, not, and, as, and as we've talked about many times on your program, this was the line of the Bush-Cheney regime that, oh, we're going to take away all your civil liberties and destroy the Constitution in order to make you safe. The terrorists. And people just uh, are gullible and they, and they fall for it. And so uh, it's not really hard for government to pull off things like 9-11. Because all it has to do is give some kind of explanation and people believe it. They don't say, hey, the government did this. That's not their first thought. It never enters their head. It's always, oh, uh, some, uh, some tiny group of, of Muslims who can't even fly airplanes. They, <laughs> they did. <laughs> so, but, to, you know, perhaps, as to repeat myself, the fact that uh, this story is now getting out and getting some attention about the POWs, because that really touches at the heart of American patriotism, doesn't it? I mean, that really touches the flag wavers, the, the people who want to kill them over there before they come over here. It, it really cuts the, to the very heart of the most conservative people, the people who are most willing to go to war to achieve whatever the government says, if it turns out that the government has actually abandoned its own soldiers, then it could possibly shake some of those people. It could possibly uh, cause uh, more skepticism among the public, and, and it could lead to the unraveling of um, other massive uh, lies and conspiracies. Well, Dr. Paul Greg Roberts. Roberts, let me expand on that because... From my research, uh, and I mean, it's on record this happened. There was over 20,000 U.S. troops in German POW camps that were grabbed by the Russians. Uh, and uh, by then, uh, Roosevelt had died, and, and, and Harry Truman, you know, said, Stalin's our ally, and basically, we're not going to get in a fight with him. They gave him half of Eastern Europe. They gave him half of Germany. Uh, that's the thing that uh, made... Uh, and now documents have come out on this. That's what caused Patton to have a complete conniption fit. Uh, and so they killed him. And so this has been a policy for a while that troops are just expendable animals, as Henry Kissinger said. And so this this goes back even to the greatest generation. And I would challenge uh, you know all these Pulitzer Prize winning people to go look into that because that's hidden in plain view as well. Yes, I think you're right. Uh, the people, you know, Frederick von Hayek in his book, The Road to Serfdom, he has a chapter, Why the Worst Always Get on Top. And that goes not just for uh, uh, totalitarian systems, but for democracies. The worst rise to the top. And we certainly have the worst people in the country in Washington. That's where the worst people are. And... And these kinds of people don't have compunction. They don't have uh, shame. They, they're not moral. They have uh, ruthless agendas uh, that feature themselves. And uh, that is why democracy itself is no protection from a ruthless uh, government. Well, that's why you've got to have the republic where the minority as well as the majority is protected. And I've done a general research of history. I don't claim to be a historian, but I read history books almost every day uh, as you know, my entertainment. That's how I actually got informed as, a, as an adolescent and a teenager was because I happened to pick up history as a form of entertainment and not knowing I was educating myself on, on the way the world works. Uh, but really studying our founding fathers, they weren't perfect, but... There was Western expansion. They wanted to be left alone by the bigger mafia, the you know the crown, to build their own little systems. And so they created a system to restrain the avarice of king rats, of the strong men. And that's why this country produced half the world's wealth, only 4% of the population. So one of the few times in history, the flower of the Renaissance, and now watching that being drugged down and, and being used as the engine of world tyranny, uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's very frustrating. Yes, it, it is very frustrating. Um, but if we can just keep making people aware that every American government since Nixon 
has covered up the abandonment of American prisoners of war. And, you know, we have this definitely proved in the case of Vietnam and may well be proved in the case of the World War II prisoners. Uh, th this should help bring the, the sort of most gullible, flag-waving patriots uh, to some realization that the government isn't trustworthy and it doesn't look after anyone's interests, not even uh, the soldiers that are out there uh, giving up their lives and limbs. Well, what about this issue? They asked the troops to torture. They asked them to execute people in Afghanistan illegally, which then corrupts them. And then every time it comes out, like Abu Ghraib uh, in Iraq, they then prosecute the people who on record were following the White House memos and orders. So it's not just that you'll be left behind. It's that you'll be used up and then scapegoated la uh, later because there's no honor among these thieves that run the system. That's exactly right. I don't, I don't know why anyone who was aware would have anything to do with the military. I don't know why, why anyone would join. I can't understand why the uh, students at West Point and uh, Annapolis and the Air Force Academy don't, just don't get up in mass and walk out because they're going to be betrayed too. <laughs> or they're going to be used for evil and then betrayed. And, uh, and, and and even if you don't want to be, you're forced to go along with it or your career is destroyed. But that's my point, that there's a systematic evil uh, throughout history. We see Hitler killing his brown shirts that brought him to power. We see things that happen in every society. It's like a tropism. It's, it's, it's a pathology in corrupt elites that they their greatest glee is hanging their own attack dogs out to dry because if I was one of these evil people, but I guess I'm not evil so I can't understand it, I would at least defend my henchmen and my servants to have that servant group, my Praetorian. But, but no, they treat their Praetorian like toilet paper. Uh, that's right, because they learned from the Romans that the Praetorian can take over the ruler. <laughs> so Stalin ends up killing his own... Uh, heads of his secret police and his own colleagues in the Politburo because uh, they become, uh, they know that no one has any, any integrity or morality and that they're all a fair game for one another. So whoever strikes first and gets rid of the others is the survivor. <laughs> and that's how the system ends up eating, it, eating itself. Uh, but, of course, what we, we don't really care if the evil people eat each other up. What we're worried about is that how they're destroying the rest of us who are not among their ranks. And uh, this is uh, the fact that the American people need to wake up to and that you keep telling them about every day. Well, that's another issue. I mean, I've seen your transformation in research the last five, six years. We've been talking to you from saying they're just a bunch of nuts, a bunch of crooks. They don't know what they're doing to saying, no, this is clearly by design because all the evidence shows it is. I want to briefly talk about the economy uh, with you and, and all these headlines. Is Europe heading for a meltdown? Uh, you know, just 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 on and on and on what's happening worldwide, where this agenda is going and also uh, about them just openly announcing that they make fake bin Laden videos. Your natural organic herbal formula for heart health is heart and body extract. My name is Stan and I'm 68 years old and I live in Vermont. In the spring of 2003, I started to have problems with my heart. It felt like my heart was pounding, it made me feel breathless. I tried many, many different things to try to get some help for myself. Nothing did anything. Heart and Body Extract is very powerful, very effective, and works quickly. I saw one of Sharon's ads and ordered Heart and Body Extract. I noticed a difference quickly, within days. The episodes became less frequent, and by a month, they completely vanished. Usually, you find a 30-day or 60-day guarantee. Heart and Body Extract comes with a lifetime 100% ironclad money-back guarantee. Details at hbextract.com or call 866-295-5305. Call 866-295-5305. 866-295-5305 for Heart and Body Extract. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? 
It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, 